Your FTIR spectrometer and Omnic Paradigm software can help you determine what's in an unknown sample. This video demonstrates how to measure and analyze a sample using the Attenuated Total Reflection, or ATR, sampling technique. You will learn how to prepare the ATR accessory, set up and run the analysis, and evaluate and confirm the results. To begin, make sure your ATR accessory is inserted in the spectrometer sample compartment and that it has a crystal installed. Here we're using the Thermoscientific Everest ATR accessory with a diamond crystal in our Nicolay Summit FTIR spectrometer. Make sure the crystal is clean so the spectrometer can take an accurate background measurement when it's ready. Now let's move to the Omnic Paradigm software and look at the measurement settings. The important settings are right up front in the dashboard view. First, make sure this readout shows the installed accessory. If it doesn't, reseat the accessory. Then make sure the analysis type is set to search. This performs a point-by-point -point comparison of the sample spectrum against FTIR library spectra. The quality of the output depends on the source and quality of the spectra in the selected libraries. Next, enter a measurement name, or you can leave the suggested name, which is the exact date and time of the measurement. Finally, check the acquisition settings. These are all good starting values for the analysis. All existing spectral libraries are selected automatically by default. Use Search Setup in the Identify menu to view or change your library selections. For this demonstration, we are using the free libraries provided with Omnic Paradigm software. Choose Cancel to close the Search Setup window. You can also use the Library Manager in the same menu to easily create a spectral library. Any libraries you create should be from pure materials that represent what you expect to find in your unknown samples. Click this icon to return to the dashboard view. To start the analysis, click here. The analysis starts with a background measurement. The only requirement for an ATR background is to make sure the crystal is clean. The background spectrum is used to eliminate any signals in the sample data that are due to the spectrometer, the ATR crystal, or the background environment. Click here to start the background measurement. The software shows a preview of the current background spectrum in the spectral pane. This background shape is unique to the diamond crystal. Click here to start the background measurement. When the background measurement is completed, its image appears in the results panel and in the spectral pane. If your sample is a liquid, rotate the pressure arm out of the way and use a clean pipette to place a single drop on the crystal. The sample should cover the crystal completely. For a solid sample, raise the arm, place the sample on the crystal, and then rotate the knob until it clicks. For this demonstration, we are measuring a piece of plastic. Once a sample is in place, the spectrometer scans the sample and the software shows a preview of the acquired data in the spectral pane. If the peaks in the preview spectrum are very small, try repositioning the sample on the ATR crystal and then reapply pressure. When you're ready to start the sample measurement, Click here and wait for the progress bar to complete. 
The software quickly compares the sample spectrum to the selected library spectra and shows you the results. The spectral pane shows the sample spectrum along with the best matched spectrum from the selected libraries. The two spectra are overlaid with the same y-axis scale so you can compare the results visually. The results panel shows a list of the five best matched spectra along with their match values. The match values tell you how well each library spectrum matches the unknown sample. The closer this value is to 100, the better the match. In this example, the top two matches represent the same material from two different libraries. They both have match values that are above 90, which indicate good matches. The match value for the next spectrum in the list is well below that. If we look at the overlaid spectra in the spectral pane, the positions of the main peaks line up along the x-axis, and they differ only in their peak heights. Click the Stack button to see the two spectra scaled to fill each y-axis. Again, the spectra are well matched, except for the raised baseline in the sample spectrum's low frequency region. As a result, we can conclude that the sample is polyethylene and the analysis is complete. To get more information about a spectrum in the match list, including the library it came from and its identification number, click here. If your sample spectrum has a peak that is so large it is off the y-axis scale, like the one shown here, you may want to exclude that peak from your analysis. These flat top peaks are referred to as totally absorbing and can contain excessive spectral noise, which affects the analysis results. To exclude a totally absorbing peak, choose Search Setup in the Identify menu and use the tools to select the regions to search. First, clear this checkbox to enable the region tools. Here we are positioning the vertical bars to select the region to the left of the off-scale peak, and then adding a region and using the second set of vertical bars to select the region to the right of the unwanted peak. When you are finished selecting the regions, click Save, and then click the Search button on the toolbar to rerun the search. You can purchase high-quality spectral libraries designed for a variety of FTIR applications on our website. For more information, visit www.thermofisher.com and search for Spectral Libraries. You can also use Omnic Paradigm software to access libraries you already have. That was a detailed look at the steps to identify an unknown sample measured with ATR. For more information and more examples, see the article with that name in the online user guides and tutorials. You might also want to watch Identify an Unknown Sample with Transmission.